In New York, migrants at a city-run shelter grumbled that relatives who settled before them refused to offer a bed. In Chicago, a provider of mental health services to people in the country illegally pivoted to new arrivals sleeping at a police station across the street. In South Florida, some immigrants complain that people who came later get work permits that are out of reach for them. Across the country, mayors, governors and others have been forceful advocates for newly arrived migrants seeking shelter and work permits. Their efforts and existing laws have exposed tensions among immigrants who have been in the country for years, even decades, and don't have the same benefits, notably work permits. And some new arrivals feel established immigrants have given them cold shoulders. Thousands of immigrants marched this month in Washington to ask that President Joe Biden extend work authorization to longtime residents as well. In Florida, people is, live in Florida coming and relocating to the Carolinas. My focus has been in newcomers, but in different departments, it has, the focus has been to serve everybody. So we try to keep a balance of doing both. People who have been here for years and people who are just arriving. And so far we have been able to serve everybody. De una forma, um, casi que me atrevo a decir un discriminatorio, el hecho de que no se le haya dado ninguna atención a las personas que viven en este país por 10 y 20 o 30 años y todavía estén haciendo todo el trabajo de este país. A nosotros como mexicanos no, no tenemos mucho la oportunidad de coger los papeles, es bien difícil. Todos tenemos este, eh, el derecho de venir a este país a progresar un poco, ¿verdad? El único problema es de que ellos han llegado, llegan y, y, y les dan sus su, su documentos rápido y a uno que lleva, lleva años aquí y a uno no le quieren dar, dar nada.